God damn it, he has lethal. 362 368. Oh no no no, he doesn't have lethal. Hi, how's it going everyone? We are playing all in Rek'Sai today. Three Rek'Sai's and most of our cards in our deck are all combat spells and a couple of landmarks to help us activate our shape stone. So just three Rek'Sai's only. I know some of you naysayers like to say that ah, oh, all in Rek'Sai, it sucks. You know, it's terrible, it's trash. You can frostbite it, you can vengeance it, you can do, you can harsh it, you can do whatever, whatever spell. Suddenly when you say these spells, it just appear in your hand and you can just stop this Rek'Sai, right? Okay, this deck is not for you, so you shouldn't be watching this video. Okay, I will wait for two seconds for you all to leave, okay? One second, two seconds, okay. So those who are staying, this is a very fun deck and I mean, I know Rek'Sai Pike is fun, but this is even more fun because there are higher stakes because you are going all in on one Rek'Sai. The ideal situation with this deck is you are trying to get the attack token uh, on turn 3. So you want to start first and that's a 50-50% chance I guess. And you bank your mana in the first 2 turns. You want your Rek'Sai in your opening hand. So on turn 3 you can summon your Rek'Sai and you have your attack token. You attack with your Rek'Sai. By default, your first turn attack with your Rek'Sai generally is uh, you add plus 1 to it, so it's attacking for 4 damage. And you want to bank, your first 2 turns you are banking like about 3 mana in total, right? You are trying to draw for cards like Elixir of Wrath or Shape Stones, so you can add 6 damage in total or even more than that. Hence, you can level up Rek'Sai on turn 3. Afterwards, it levels up. It deals overwhelm damage and it stays on your battlefield forever until it dies. And then it also generates a couple of lurkers for you to defend against your opponent because by then your opponent will have um, some creatures on the board, right? And you might be losing um, a couple of health. The lurkers generated from Rek'Sai leveling up is actually quite useful. And then subsequently, you have all your combat spells to continue attacking your opponent, dealing more and more overwhelm damage. So the idea is that you are trying to end your opponent by turn 5 when you have the attack token again. And aside from that, it's just, you know, your usual cards, your combat buff, Elixir of Wrath, Shape Stones, and Ruthless Predator. This is very useful here. It allows you to pick the weakest enemy so that you can maximize your overwhelm damage. Weapon Heal is useful to some extent. I mean, you can add plus 2, plus 0, and if you're lucky, you can get the, the other fragment that adds plus 2 plus 0. This is this is the most useful one. The rest is not that useful. And then you have your Might, and then um, Sharpen Resolve and Torn Blade, which is one of the worst combat buff. But this is not bad. It's, it's able to deal additional 5 damage, even though it costs 4, which is terrible. But in some situations, it is actually quite worth it. Then right of Negation. If your opponent runs some Vengeance on you, you can actually use it to deny them. And then, um, there's another cool combo in this deck as well. You have Ancient Hourglass to use to protect your Rek'Sai. And it, also you can use it to summon another Rek'Sai. Because you have Rite of Calling, right? You can get another Rek'Sai very easily. And on your opponent's turn, you can summon, you can cast Ancient Hourglass on your Rek'Sai. And with another Rek'Sai in your hand, you just cast it. Then you have two Rek'Sai's on the battlefield. So you just wait for the statue to Countdown finish and then on your attacking turn you can have two rack size and attack your opponent and you win the game. That's how the deck works and if you are interested in the deck you can find the deck code in the description below and I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. Hmm. Oh nice we got a rack size. Uh let's try and draw for Maybe we can keep pass Passivarium. Let's try and draw for one drop uh, combat buffs. Okay. This is not too bad. But I will much prefer having shape stones. Mm. I don't think there's any way for them to deal with us, right? Yeah. Unless they have thermogenic beam. Oh, okay, nice. This is what I was looking for. How much can we deal? 3, 6, 8. Still not enough though.
If you draw another one drop spell, that would be great. Oh my god. Wait, but this is not enough. I I need landmarks in order to activate this, right? Three, six, eight, nine. When I attack, when I attack, I also add one to myself, right? Okay, so I'm okay with this being plus one. Okay, okay, okay. I think that that will work out. That will work out. Right? If I attack, I plus one. So default is four six, plus three seven. Then. No, but that's not enough. That's not enough. That's not enough. Because I I only bank three mana. That's the problem here. Okay, I almost got it wrong, but I think this is fine. Okay, we are good. We just need to wait one more turn. Let's attack on turn 5. Oh dear, he's gonna kill us isn't he? Okay, we need to at least block some creatures here. So let's just do this. And protect ourselves. And then next turn we come out again and we destroy them. Okay. Let's do this, remove this. Take this out. Unfortunately, we didn't get the, the spell that we want. I want the plus two plus zero spell. Oh, well, that's fine. Yeah. All in Rek'Sai. Bang. Oh, we don't have enough mana to, to kill that. Oh, let's just drop this for now. Oh my god, I didn't know there was an interaction. Uh, let's drop this. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's pass here. Okay, so let's block here. I think we need to bank. Okay, let's just go with predict and try and draw something good here. Okay, this is something that is pretty good. We need to bank like 4 mana, right? We need to have 4 mana in place just to deny whatever that's going to come next. Otherwise we might just lose. Right, in a very tight spot right now. Um. Four, six. Yeah. Let's 
Let's go. This should be enough. Okay. Uh, let's put it on here. Still not good enough. We can just concentrate everything on this, or we can just negate him. I think we can just negate him. Yeah. I think this is good. Great! All in Rek'Sai. Woo! Interesting. Oh, we got our Rek'Sai. Uh, is there any way that can disrupt us that we need Ancient Hourglass? No, right? So are we attacking on turn? We are attacking on turn four and turn two, I guess. Let's try and draw some more cheaper. Now uh, let's just let's, let's just try and draw some cheap spells here. Yeah, this is what I want. Okay. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> All in Rek'Sai, guys. All in Rek'Sai. Okay. We don't even need luck anymore. We're just going in. Go, <laughs> going all in. <laughs> yep, yeah, this is good. 369. I think that should be enough, right? Uh, let's just hope that he, he doesn't kill us. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be so confused. Why this guy is not playing any luck cards at all? But little did he know that we are going to kill him here. <laughs> we don't even need overwhelm anymore because we level up and we get overwhelm. <laughs> oh my god. This is not OTK, but still quite fun though. It's quite And our Rex side doesn't hide anymore. And that's perfect. That's pretty dope. Yeah, I think that's fine. Actually, in hindsight, I should have just um, put vulnerable on the weakest creature and we just destroy him. Yeah, that would make much more sense, actually. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's fine. We'll just take six. Hmm. 
This is useless, right? The idea here is that you just go straight out face. Yeah. I don't think he can stop us. Okay, okay, he survived. He survived for one more turn. Oh my god, we just lose here, right? We lose here. God damn it, he has lethal. 362. 368. Oh no, 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 he doesn't have lethal. He doesn't have lethal. Well, if this doesn't go through, we just lose here. Oh my god! <laughs> he didn't have Mystic Shot, got so lucky! <laughs> I realize I keep on facing a lot of Zillion Echo, but I haven't faced any Echo Karma at all. Is Zillion the better option here? Uh, I think we don't need Right of Negation here. And we don't need Torn Blade. I realize my hair is so messy. Jeez, so long. Actually, the best scenario is that if we draw one drops instead. It's not enough though. If this, I mean this counts down, then it gets clocking. He sacrifices this, but he can deny us. That's a problem. So I think we we are just gonna wait for turn five instead. <laughs> instead of turn three. So what we are hoping for now is Stasis Statue, if I'm not wrong. I'm not quite sure what's the name of the thing, but we are hoping for a statue so that we can create multiple looks. We can create multiple rack size, that's the idea here. But unfortunately we don't get it here, so we just have to wait and see how it goes. Mm. Can try and lower his health and prepare for our Rek'Sai next turn. Yeah.
Let's go with this first. Okay, this is not what I want, so it's fine. We just leave it. And let's go with this. And we'll just kill him. I think we can just keep it for later. Yeah. This is good enough for us. Are we going to... How many cards? Five? Okay, yeah, we still have enough space on our hands before it burns out. I think we can take six. Hmm, he's gonna take a lot of damage here, that's a big problem. Oh, we are trying to remove Run Runner. Yeah, this is such an awkward spot. Hmm. Do I have any more creatures here? Let's just pass for now and see how it goes. Maybe we should draw more cards. I think that's the right move actually. Or we can kill our Rek'Sai here. Yeah, we can do a trade here. I think this is good. We don't really depend on our because we have other rack size here, so I think this is fine. Let's just drop this. And let's just try and kill him this turn. Yeah. I don't think they have any ways to deal with us here. Jeez. I don't need so many right of callings though. Hmm. I think we win this, right? How much more do I have to deal to him? Ah, oh, shit. Oh my god, this is not enough. Is this not enough? Yeah, okay, it's enough, it's enough, guys. Hopefully, he doesn't have another, another scrying sense. Oh, we won! We won! Ugh. <sighs>